Hello again, this is UML Operator. Hello, in this session, we are going to talk about strict connector syntax. So years ago, I had published a model around a component diagram showing and teaching relevant relationships and associations. So one of the team members saw that I had this assembly relationship between these two components, tried to emulate this in Spark's version 16 today and couldn't do that, it was getting an error. So if you try to do this, you don't see assembly in here. And so you get an error if you try to run assembly and then you do this, you get an error. The request a connection is not UML compliant. So they asked, well, how did I do this? And I'm gonna show you, don't recommend it, but I'm gonna show you in just a moment. Now I do want to preface that when I originally drew this model, I think I was around version 12, and I believe it was version 15 that Sparks rectified this problem, this gap, and is com compliant with UML on how to draw assembly. Even delegate, if you try to do a delegate association between the two, you don't see delegate in here, and if I just click outside, I get the same error even in trying to draw a component relationship delegate between two components, you're unable to do that. Here you see delegate properly being implemented and you see the ball in the socket properly being implemented using ports. But that's not what this video is about. I'll cover component diagrams and how to do that and the rules associated to that in a later session. And I'm going to go ahead and delete this assembly relationship. There we go. It is gone. And now I am unable to bring this back. There's just no way to do that. So it'll get an error if I try to run assembly between these two. I'll get the error. All right. So how you rectify that if you need to is you go to preferences. Right. So preferences. Here we go. We're going to go to lines. And you see right here under general links, you see strict connector syntax is turned on, right? I'm gonna turn this off, hit close. So now with that restriction taken away, I'm gonna come over here in assembly, I'm clicking on that. You can see it turns into a hand. I can hold down the left mouse button, drag it over to the target, in this case, component three and let go and I'm able to do that. I'm also able to take delegate not that it's correct, but draw a delegate between target and source or source and target here, right? So I'm able to do that because in preferences, I have turn links, I have removed that. So I'm gonna turn this back on. I recommend that you leave this on strict connector, but sometimes when you're doing brainstorming and quick drawing, you want to do that. It's just not recommended to stay within OMG UML standards okay so now when i try to draw an assembly i can draw an association but if i try to draw an assembly i'm going to let go and then not do anything i get the compliance error because it won't allow me to do it proper way to do this is to apply let's put an external port here i'm not going to name it or anything i'm going to drag another port over here i'm going to expose these ports then i'm going to come over to assembly and between the ports I'm able to do this, all right? So just wanted to cover this really quick. I got asked a question. I said I'd produce a video about it. So here you go. Thanks very much for watching. Happy modeling.